One morning in 1982, something remarkable happened in a hatchery in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. A small, brown speckled egg hatched and released a healthy but vulnerable chick. An ambitious conservation goal had been achieved. This egg was the first of 480,000 carefully monitored Hubara eggs that would hatch over the coming years and contribute towards securing the future of an emblematic species. As long ago as 1977, the United Arab Emirates recognized the need to act on the declining population of the Hubara. A series of preemptive conservation methods were established that would set world-leading standards in governance, research, in situ and ex situ conservation, and techniques that emphasize the importance of acting with foresight to conserve the Hubara a bird with deep connections to the Emirati and broader Arabian heritage and traditions of falconry. On land and in the sea, our forefathers lived and survived in this environment. They were able to do so because they recognized the need to conserve it, to take from it only what they needed to live and to preserve it for succeeding generations. So began an avowed intention to address the declining numbers of the Hubara in the wild. Along with rapid urbanization and industrial development came an even greater awareness of the decline in the Hubara population. This decline prompted pioneering investigations into the bird's ecology, behavior, physiology, and biology. And in 2006, the International Fund for Hubara Conservation was established with a mission to conserve and regenerate the Hubara population in the wild through active intervention and conservation leadership. Abu Dhabi and its Environment Vision 2030 aims to preserve the Emirates ecological heritage with the careful allocation of human resources and use of cutting edge technology. By collaborating with governments, ecology institutes, and conservation communities across the globe, the International Fund has been recognized as the leader in Hubara preservation, contributing expertise to projects spanning from Morocco to Mongolia. The Fund aims to maximize a sustainable Hubara population within ecosystem constraints through the regeneration of the Hubara population in the wild and by taking decisive action to curb unregulated hunting and poaching, it is preserving the proud heritage and traditions of falconry. It's an ambitious and challenging vision that involves both building on the considerable success in breeding and release, together with promoting greater awareness and taking decisive action on the wider regulatory and ecosystem protection factors that impact the Hubara. Over time, the fund's number of staff has grown to 1,800 and is comprised of 45 different nationalities. All of them are more committed than ever to protect and restore the indigenous Hubara populations throughout the world. With significant commitment to preserving the species' genetic diversity, a database has been built that details the pedigree of every single bird. These birds are then released, following an appropriate protocol to 14 of the 30 countries within the Hubara's range. By engaging with local communities, together with an ambitious education program, and a deep understanding of cultural contexts. Abu Dhabi's 40 years of conservation success is safeguarding the future of the Hubara while fostering the development of the next generation of scientists and conservationists. With a network of centers that stretch from Abu Dhabi in the UAE to Anjul in Masur in Morocco and eastward 
to the Sheikh Khalifa Hubara Breeding Center in Kazakhstan. The International Fund for Hubara Conservation looks forward to the continued evolution of a global species as they strive to secure a sustainable future for this iconic bird. Our world has good reason to be optimistic about the future of this remarkable bird, protected and sustained by the International Fund for Hubara Conservation, the world's leader in preemptive conservation. <laughs>